This is the Creality Space Pi X4. This is the dry box from Creality that just came out. They already had the Space Pi and the Space Pi X2, but now with this brand new filament dry box, you can dry filament up to four spools of filament. One kilograms or two kilograms spools it's no problem with this dry box. It has two compartments and each compartment has a 200 watt heater. With temperatures up to 85 degrees C, you can make sure that your filaments are dry enough to print with. And also, as a great addition to your 3D printer from Creality, you can directly connect it to your 3D printer and drying your filament while using it as well to print amazing stuff with your 3D printer. Setting it up is quite easy and straightforward. Each compartment or each section, so in total four spools of filament, each spool has two connections where you can put in a PTFA tube and connect it directly to your 3D printer. Making sure that you have enough space in order to place this space pie. Enjoy watching me setting up this space pie for MicroReality K1. So nice. I think that this looks pretty amazing. So um, I had to fit, fiddle a little bit, but it uh, does fit and rhymes too. So I now need to fill up the box. Oh my gosh, gosh, <sighs> serious. Oh my gosh. So for this uh, space pie, I need also uh, some room on top of it. Jeez. So if you are going to use the space pipe from Creality. Make sure to have also uh, some space. Yeah. So uh, I, I need to figure something out here. The only thing that I can think of, seeing also how far it opens, and you need to have some clearance to put the spool filament in there, just like with the AMS from the Bumble Labs 3D printer, that means that I need to take this whole section out right here and lower the printers a bit more, and also this shelf. Redesigning in a nutshell. The Space Pie and also the Bumble Lab AMS can fit in here. The downside is that I'm losing one shelf. Yeah, it's uh, it's what it is. I can easily access it. I can put it even on the back because on the bottom there is a slot for the micro SD card. Maybe you are going to need it if you would need to flash the firmware. Yes, on this drive box there is some firmware from Creality on there. But more about that later. So the Creality Space Pi X4 has, as you can see, slots for four spools of filament. This is one section and this is one section. So you don't have to use the whole uh, unit. You can also use partially the unit. It's very simple, quick, easy, straightforward. You take a spool of filament, you put it in the slot, and then wherever the direction you want to go with this machine, whether it is on the top or it is on the back side. Depends on where you have your Creality 3D printer. In my case, I've got the Creality K1 and it's located down on the bottom. I need to make sure that the spool of filament is loaded in that direction, so facing backwards. There are four holes in total on the backside, but also on the top, and every single one has a PTFA tube adapter. So that means you can 
attach your PTFA tube or your Bowden tube directly into the Creality 3D printer. I'm going to do that now and you can see how this whole thing works. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to put the Creality and the three I will put the Creality K1 here on my workbench and putting the space by next to it or on top of it. And so you can see how this whole setup would look like. Because if I'm going to put it right over there, it is going to look difficult to record for this video. Or maybe I won't do it at all. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I was thinking about it. This is 55 and also this is 55. So I'm going to arrange it a little bit so that the Bamboo Labs is standing here and the Creality is standing here so that I can put the dry box next to the K1. So let's do that. So in order to connect the, the Creality Space Pi to my Creality K1, one of the benefits is that I don't have this spool holder on the back side. Makes it a whole lot easier to swap out filaments instead of using the back side because who would do that nowadays? Anyway, so I'm just going to heat up the hot end, extrude or retract the filament, and then connect the space pi. So now in order to connect the space pi to my Creality K1, I'm using one of the spare parts of a certain 3D printer. This is a reverse Bowden tube. The inner diameter is bigger than the normal standard PTFE tube like the cap records. The inner diameter is I think like three millimeters and a norm normal filament is 1.75 in most of the cases. I'm going to connect it in here then I'm putting the clip back and then I'm going to put the other end into one of the slots of the space pie. How it is going to work if you are going to use different filaments if you still need to swap out different ports I don't know. Because uh, basically I didn't read the instructions and I just want to find it out maybe the hard way. We are going to connect it right in here, there, and then we are going to put the clip on there back. So there's no, you know, there's no space between it. So that's good. So I'm going to turn the printer back. Then we are going to take the space poly. Looks nice, right? Then we are going to connect it to the most left one because that one is close. I can also connect it to the most right one. Make sure to have a Bowden tube that is long enough to reach all of them. And I think this is just pure for just putting it inside there and uh, don't get any weird ideas. The PTFE tube couplers that are on the space by, you can just press the, uh, the collet and then pull the PTFA tube out and then put it in some other ports. I will just show you how it is being done. And now this is fully set up. The only thing that I need to do is take off uh, this here. And then turn on the Creality Space Spy X4. So let's go through the menu. I will put the camera a little bit closer. So this is a touch screen. So we choose English. Okay. Welcome to Space Pie. So 26 degrees, both sides, settings, near are some drying settings. So let's load up a spool of filament and uh, let's use the space pie.
So when it comes to 3D printing, I always like to use Polymaker and especially their new Panchroma filaments. They are amazing and I still don't understand why not more people are using Panchroma from Polymaker. It's the best filament, having also a lot of colors. Look at how beautiful that looks like. My gosh, I know, Zach, I don't know where he is, he, he just left uh, and I thought like why not making a little advertisement of Polymaker. Go to polymaker.com and get your Panchroma or many other amazing filaments from Polymaker. I know, this sounds a little bit sketchy, but trust me, if you are looking for some filaments, don't look any further. Just head out to polymaker.com or maybe Panchroma. Oh, let's, let's head over to that. Let's, let's copy one of your amazing sports and say hi from Polyfilm.